All right, today we are out at Jeffrey's Tractors in Fenimore, Wisconsin, looking at a consignment sale. There's all kinds of stuff here. So, got to the front of the line here, and of course it's all the Chinese attachments that you see at every auction. It seems like you can't go to any auction without seeing them. Which I haven't gotten to see the little mini excavators in person yet. I've always kind of wanted to, so I'm kind of excited by that. But here's a new one. This looks like a little screening plant. It's tiny. You could very easily feed it with a skid steer. And all it has is this little electric motor. Standard vibrator. <laughs> all right, yeah, so that's just the vibrator up there. My dad's gonna get a kick out of this thing, yep. Skid MTD screener. Hmm. Mm, some sort of grapple. Maybe an auger set up. There's all kinds of junk here. All right, we got some cases here. Oh, full of Chinese ratchet straps. Over here, looks like we got a crap load of pins. Universal bucket pins. Never seen that at an auction. All kinds of different sizes. Got some lifting hooks, quick attach plates, slings. All right, we got about the twinkiest looking little log splitter I've ever seen. It's got a four horsepower, 3.75 horsepower Briggs. This thing's tiny. That's my foot for size. I've never seen a wood splitter so small. So like I said, there is just a whole mess of these mini excavators and dingoes here. I can't even tell what brand they are. These are all AGT, I guess. Yeah, each one of them is an AGT. Yeah, that's an AGT. So they're all just the same brand, different colors and maybe different models. They look like they all have these little, yeah, this one's a 739, but that one's just a 420cc, which is not that big of an engine. <laughs> Yeah, the batteries aren't even hooked up. I guess they're all brand new because they're in the crate. I don't know. This one looks a little beefier than the others. At least you can't see where the engine is. But anyway, I want to look more at the mini excavators. These things have kind of always piqued my interest. Prior to these entering the market, there's really no cheap way to buy an excavator, a mini excavator. But man, they are tiny <laughs> that is a small boom comes with a thumb which is kind of cool this one's no cab or anything yeah that doesn't want to open so we're not going to do that oh nice I can move the machine by hand that's what you want out of an excavator all right, so we got some of the yellow flavor. Let's try the orange one. So I guess that's supposed to be a ripoff. Well, maybe the yellow is supposed to be a cat. Maybe that one's also supposed to be a cat. This is very obviously supposed to look like a Kubota. So it must be gas too. It's got a choke. A little bit wider. I could fit in this one. I don't know if I could fit in that one comfortably. That seat's tiny. So I guess this is your travel. Does it have, oh, it does have a little tiny blade. I've seen lawnmowers with bigger blades. So maybe this guy's the blade. I don't know what the center one, travel, travel. And then I assume that's your, yeah, that's your bucket. Huh. Oh, they got little grapples, wide buckets. How nice. Yeah, don't think I'll be buying one of these anytime soon. Can't wait for about 20 years when these are all worn out and no one can get them to run, and I could pick one up for about 200 bucks. One of my friends, Steven, did mention that uh, it'd be pretty cool to rip the boom and everything off of it and turn it into a mini crane to kind of take the place of a forklift. You'd have to do some counterweight stuff or maybe outriggers, but that would be kind of cool. I'd love to do that to one. All right, so that's the open station ones. Let's check out this cab one that I finally... I will get away from the Chinese junk, I promise. So that's not why I'm here. So this one, really plush interior. 
but a pretty small interior again i think i would be too big check out the ac unit looks like a house unit yes yeah, so that's the only cab one the cab one does look a good bit beefier but man there's just a ton of these things here i didn't realize all the ones back here too Look at them all. These are Mivas. They look exactly the same. All right, let's get away from that stuff. Oh, we got more Chinese junk down here. All right, let's 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 look at something American for a minute. All right. An Avery. I've never seen a BF Avery. This one's a Model A. Little tricycle tractor. That's a tiny little four-cylinder gas of course very narrow tractor is it six volt 12 volt that's nice it's got a pto on it and a belt pulley that's a nice little tractor looks like it was obviously restored a little bit of welding done on it but not bad that's a really nice tractor looks super simple Louisville, Kentucky. I have never seen that, and I consider myself pretty pretty well versed in antique tractors. Looks like we got a little Massey 850. That would have a four-cylinder Perkins, which would be kind of nice to have. Let's go look at that. Well, before we look at the combine, let's make fun of some other Chinese equipment. So we got a little wheel loader here. Ooh, this one's all electric. Gross. Those are gonna break off and several hours the controls are in scripture of some sort the el45 <laughs> then we have the fashion mobile wow this thing's a crew cab so this one's electric too the meco vehicle 60 volt yeah you can fit four people in here allegedly Wow, just look at, this is, this is cardboard. That's your roof rack. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't open the tailgate. It's already pretty dented up, so you don't have to worry about putting that first dent in it. Yeah, that thing's, but you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Ugh. Another little, this one's a gas wheel loader at least. And at least it's in English. Ugh. Keep distance. All right, so as I said, I'm not here for the Chinese junk, but man, it keeps blowing me away. This is an RC mower. I've seen these online. I've never seen one in person. So it's got like a push mower sized deck under it. It's tracked. It has a gas engine, 200 cc just under, and it has an RC transmitter. That's wild. An EGN, that looks like that would be kind of fun. Hmm. It's amazing. Your lawnmower is like half the size of the truck. That's incredible. All right. To the combine. All right. So this is a Massey Ferguson 850. This one is diesel. Some of these are gas. I don't think one this big would be gas. But uh, I'm pretty sure these all had four and six cylinder Perkins. We're not going to be able to see it well. Which I could use a good four or six cylinder Perkins. Oh, it smells like rat piss in here bad. Oh, check out the wood paneling though. This thing was sweet when it was new. Seat's pretty decent. It just smells really bad in here. All the glass is in it. Check out the controls. That is pimping. Cute. Yeah, she looks like a good running machine for a... Oh, yeah, look at the light bar. But to get a front shot of that. Yeah, check out the... Four LED light bar, light bar, that's cool. Yeah, the reason I mentioned the Perkins in this is I've been looking for a small diesel for a, not really small, but a diesel to swap into one of my pickups other than a Cummins. And I know it's kind of common to grab the Perkins out of these for things like my truck, but this is way too complete of a machine to ever think about doing that. Let's continue on the row here. There's a duck boat over there. I don't think I need that. A real old pull-behind combine. That's pretty cool. 
square baler, hay rack, a new Holland. That thing's pretty ugly looking. I think that's a custom grill. Ugh. All right, I'll pick the camera up when I find something cool. All right, well, the next cool thing is actually the next row over. It's this little new Holland L553. I assume this is a diesel. I don't know what a new Holland this old would be. These are pretty small machines. Oh, it's a little Kubota. A V190. Oh, 1902, actually. A little four-cylinder. Pretty decent-looking machine. Good rubber. A lot nicer than my Gale I just bought for 500 bucks. Cool. We'll go down the row. There's a nice John Deere tractor down here. All right, so here's this 4240 John Deere. Pretty good looking tractor, I assume. That's a respray, if I've ever seen one. But overall, pretty straight and nice. Cab's in good shape. Decent rubber. I like these tractors. Let's go inside, get the interior tour. Ugh. Ooh, that's a different type of smell. Yeah, whatever. I smelled worse. It's like diesel fuel mixed with, I don't know, rat shit? Who knows? 1,300 hours, I don't believe that. Well, maybe, but. Cab's pretty rough. It must have set out in the sun. It's not rough, it's just all the interior's trying to fall out of it. Hmm. All right, right behind it, we got two Fords here. A 7710, looks like a front axle assist. I mean, probably a good tractor, but they're kind of, the front ends are cool, but I don't know. We got a Ford 4000 here. These are cool. I like the shape of the hood. Little gas tractor. Just cool looking. Got decent tires, probably worth saving. Definitely worth saving, but to the right person. More Chinese junk and shipping containers, of course. There's the Chinese gates you see at every auction. But here's the row of stuff I am here to look at. Nice, there goes a log truck. So it's gonna be a little noisy up here with the road, but this is where all the cool stuff is. So we have a, that's a Thunderbird. I'm pretty sure, not much on old Ford cars. Must have an engine in it that's worth saving if it's covered up, but otherwise is missing some crucial components. Yep, it is the Thunderbird. That's what I thought they called these. Looks like a floor shift automatic. It's got both doors, but no trunk or anything. It's in pretty good shape. It's just missing a bunch. All right, next to the Thunderbird here, we have a Ford fire truck. It has a flathead V8 in it. Those are sweet looking motors. Uh, body wise, I mean, this thing's in pretty decent shape. Tank's pretty cool. Whole body's pretty cool. So it looks like it was Mon Dovi Fire Department's truck. It is a dually, super skinny tires. Looks like it must have sat in a barn somewhere for a while. Be a pretty cool museum piece. It looks like it was last tagged in 09, which I guess I would believe. Next to it, we got a Ford, two of these Ford COEs. These are F6 trucks, I think. Check out the spare tire mount. So it is a straight frame truck, no dump body, and a pretty nice flatbed. This door doesn't want to open. The cabs, not rotted out, but it's crinkly. It's had a lot of dents in the back of the cab without a headache rack. Looks like it was last tagged in 96. That front end is just so cool looking though. Should be able to get in this side. Is that the starter? That looks more like a generator than anything. 
must have been sitting on the ground underneath it, is my guess. Ugh. Wow. All right. Looks like a V8 or a V6. I can't tell because there's so much crap on top of the valve covers. I'm guessing a flathead V8. Cool cab, but man, is that thing disgusting inside. Really, it is in pretty savable shape if you can deal with some dents. Fenders are beat up, but they're all there. The one next to it is a little rustier and no bed. Back of the cab is pretty equally messed up, and this one just got so much more rust. I wonder if this one went through a light restoration at one point, and that's what saved it. But this one does have a sweet grill guard going for it. Look at that. With the F in the middle. Ooh, this one looks like it's got a title. Yeah, these are F6s. I was right. It used to say something on the door. Waki? Something Waki? This one's in much better shape inside as well. Look at the blower for the blower motor. That's cool looking. This one's got a complete dash and everything. Yeah, this one's in better shape, but rustier. Look at how pockmarked the roof is. Hmm. All right, well, the cream of the crop, in my opinion, is this Mac B61 here. It was a single axle tractor. Got kind of a cool set of fenders. It was definitely someone's show truck with the frame cover plate here looks like quarter inch plate welded to the top of the frame but it still has a full-size fifth wheel the back of the cab is a little rotted out on the bottom of the cab seam but otherwise this truck was definitely restored at one point i love the color twin stick of course this one is a diesel But I assume this one's non-turbo. Yeah, this one's NA. But pretty clean looking motor. It's got most of, looks like it's just missing the E in the thermodyne, and then it's got everything else. Got the nice letter board, last tagged in 97. And it has a title. I think they said online this one does not run. It looks like it's been sitting for a considerable amount of time. But it is in pretty good shape other than the back of the cab. Looks like it's got 61,000 on the dash, but who knows how many times that rolled over. Pretty cool suspension seat. A Bostrom Viking T-Bar. Yeah. That's a cool little truck. Not a huge fan on single axle tractors. I know a lot of these B models are, but uh, I would still love to take this truck home. I'm really curious to see what this goes for because it is in nice shape, but sitting and non-running, I don't know. Wow, check out that. Looks like there was no material there and they just kept welding to make material. All right, next to it, I'm pretty sure this is a Mack fire truck as well. Lodi Area Fire Department, Engine 11. Now that is one big cab, holy cow. I don't know what this thing is. It looks like it was working in 2008 because they had an emergency response guide in here. Check out how low the dash is. Oh, yeah, big flashlight. Got 110 power all the way up here. This cab, no lie, you could fit I think six people in here if you needed to and be relatively comfortable. Now it is in pretty good shape, but there is some definite signs of it sitting for a long time. I don't think it was driven in here. Maybe. Hmm. Let's go on the other side. I don't know what brand this is actually. I, I think I'm wrong. I don't know much about fire trucks. It's got a title, whatever it is. Maybe the door answer some secrets 
Nope. All right, you guys gonna have to tell me what kind of fire truck this is. I thought it was a Mack, but I'm wrong. I think. Oh, I don't know. I thought that might say it, but that's just the certification. Aha, it is a Mack. I was right. It's a 61. I like the goose. Sorry, duck. You got your cubbies back here for two more guys to ride on. Bunch of toolboxes. Oh, yeah. That's where the Detroit hangs out. I didn't realize that. A 671, I think. I don't know. Not really good at... Yeah, it would be a 71 because it's in line, so it's got to be. You got all your your controls. It must be... I don't know if a 671 goes up to 2,500 RPMs. I don't know. You guys will tell me below. I'm not great at identifying the different Detroits yet. Pretty nice body. Got all of its little clips and doodads. What about this guy? Yeah, booster cables. Pretty cool. Got some hoses and stuff still. And a ladder. That's all you need. All right, we got two more fire trucks to look at. These are both older Macs, which are really cool. Check out the traction bar tires on this guy. So this one also has been sitting. It's got a sticker on it. I assume that's not original, of course. This one has no roof. I assume it might be gas. Ugh. Yep. Some gigantic 12 cylinder gas engine, it looks like. There's two distributors down that. Hood was heavy, so I didn't want to look too long. Pretty cool light on the front. And still got his bulldog. See if we get a better look at that engine over here. Yes, yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five. No, it's just a six cylinder, but it must have two plugs per cylinder because there's two distributors over there. I remember something like that. These things, I don't know. Pretty decent shape. Needs a fresh coat of paint. All right, so we got its friend sitting right next to it. Looks like similar year, but this one obviously has its cab and it actually has an extended cab. Ugh. There's some information on it. Yeah, this thing's pretty disgusting inside too. There's the extended cab back there, which does not look to actually be an extended cab. Hmm. The outside's beautiful. I thought the interior would be much nicer. Even the paint's pretty nice. So the engine, this one just must be a fire pump back here. That's not the engine. The engine's still in the front of this one because it's not a cab over. Anyway, we got toolboxes, a ladder. A bumper, more ladders. I assume this one's gas as well. I wonder if this one was just painted up and sat somewhere as an advertisement. This one's a 51. Because it looks so nice on the outside, but the inside is very obviously not touched. I don't know. This one's a big gas motor as well. And very obviously has not ran in a long time. Yeah, so I'm guessing the story either was it was an advertisement somewhere or it was started for a restoration and they never got around to it. They just painted up the outside, which is an odd place to start on a restoration, but everyone th does things differently. All right, we got one more Mac here. There's a lot of activity going on over here, so we're going to make this one quick. Just not to bother anybody. This one's an old grain truck. Or at least it's got a flatbed. I look, this one's also gas, I think. 
At least that's what it tags it. Yeah, I'm guessing someone's collection just got... It was the time to split it up. Because these all look like they sat inside and just sat. But this one's in a remarkable shape. Oh, that don't work. I'm assuming it's not original paint, obviously. But all the sheet metal looks really nice. Yeah, so it is just a little gas flathead. I lifted the uh, hood, but you couldn't really see. The uh, door over here is stuck, but the interior is pretty nice other than that split in the seat. Then next to it, this is a International KB6. These have a really long nose on them. Pretty cool. This one might have sat outside. Uh, you're not going to be able to read the model tag anymore, but... Hmm. Single speed with a two-speed rear, I guess. This one also has a pretty big grain body. I didn't realize this truck was tandem, which is pretty cool. Check out the old International hubcap. And this one is a dump. What's going on with the suspension? That looks broken, but... Who does? I think, yeah, that's supposed to be down in there. The eyelid of the spring, I don't know. Could be some funky setup I've never seen before. Oh, it's got a cool old tank in it. Awesome. All right, we got a couple track machines to look at now. All right, so I got a 955K cat track loader. Looks like the tracks are pretty worn out. That idler looks like it's relatively far forward and you got a lot of slop. But overall, the tins aren't all beat off of it. Pretty sweet bumper on it. That's solid. This side's nice and taut. Let's see if there's an hour meter. Oh, just got starting fluid on the fender. That's not a good sign. No hour meter. I might be looking in the wrong spot though. I just looked all over this thing. I can't find an hour meter anywhere. Who knows? It doesn't look too worn out. It's obviously been greased and leaks. These are cool looking machines. I'd rather have a 977 and maybe one more model newer, but these are cool nonetheless. All right, we got a steel wheel tractor over here, a little farm all it looks like. Ooh, this one's got an electric start conversion on it of some sort. That looks custom. Check out the coupler, too. Hmm. Don't really need a steel wheel tractor in my life, I don't think. Maybe one day. Right, we got two kind of cool, unique things. We got a Case David Brown here with this side mower which would be really useful maybe not really useful but be kind of useful i've always liked these old i like the cases better than the david browns the bigger cases this one looks cool it's got a sims cab on it with an ac unit on the roof i don't know what these had in them let's see if there's a tag on the other side yeah, that's a tag for the transmission Oh, it's a David Brown diesel. You know, I think I knew these had that. I saw when he was at an auction this winter. Cool mower, but looks like it's had a really hard life. We have a little teeny tiny Kamatsu here. This thing's tiny. I'm almost just as tall as the rocks. It's got 1,300 hours, allegedly. A little four-cylinder diesel. Treads are less than the width of my foot-long boots, so they're like 10-inch wide treads. Probably be a really little handy thing to have around a farm or something. It looks in really nice shape. Looks like a D21A-6 model. Kind of cool. All right, let's go down the row. There's some beat-up looking bobcats and maybe one or two other cool things to see. Well, I'll give you a full lineup of the uh, trucks here because they definitely take the cake out of the uh, auction for me. 
All right, so these are actually quite a bit newer than I thought. These are way too new for me. This is an S150, so a pretty small little rubber tire machine. This one's pretty nice looking, but this one's nicer paint, rougher tires. This one's nicer tires, rougher paint. Yeah, way out of my price range of screwing around with. But they make someone a nice farm machine if you could deal with the machine that small, I think. There's a little old case here. It's got a gigantic bucket on it. Really roach tires. Well, at least the rear is. This one has a little Kubota. All right, we got its butt opened up here. So it does have a little V1100 Kubota. Four cylinder, tiny little engine. Yeah, that one's bald. That one's not bald. This one's good. That one's super bald. Like I said, just a huge bucket for the little thing. <laughs> Be great for a manure. I mean, pretty sparse looking interior, but nice. Let's see what kind of hours it has, if you guys can see. All right, so like I said, this one may end up in my price range, possibly. So it's got 2,900 hours. The key does power things. Let's see if it cranks. I wonder if it has glow. Yeah, there's glow plugs. It's like 85 degrees, so. Ooh wants to go really revved up systems normal no lights That's not a good sign. Yeah, so it seemed to drive fine, but it wouldn't stay curled and had like no power, so. Not good. I don't think I'm gonna be too interested in this one. All right, so we're heading out now. Give one more shot of everything in case I miss something you guys might like. Here's another one of those Chinese ones. That one was a gas Bobcat. I'm not much for the four cylinder Ford Industrials in those. I'd much rather have a diesel. Nothing really at the sale I need to have. I'd love to have that Mac single axle road tractor. And I have a hunch it'll probably go for cheap. But out in Iowa where I live now, I do not have a place to keep it and I do not have a truck big enough to haul it really. I could maybe rent a trailer to go behind my Ford a deck over that it would haul. But I don't really need to do that with my truck I rely on. So here's the lineup of them all. Who knows, maybe that truck will go for like 10 grand, even non-running, I don't know but it is cool looking. All right, we're at a completely separate auction, uh, about two hours away from where I just was. And I just happened to be driving by, I didn't know about this. Check this thing out. It's an International Fleet Star. Man, this thing's really clean. It is super tall. So we're in Hillsboro, Wisconsin, as you can tell. Check out this V plow too. That would look sweet on the front of the B model. Super singles. I would assume this thing's diesel. I don't know much about these trucks. It's got the giant wing on it. Right next to it. I've always liked these little John Deere wheel litters. This one's a 44.4. Pretty sweet machine, pretty tight cab. Allegedly 800 hours. Uh huh. Huh. These are cool though. I wonder if this is a township machine too. See if there's anything else in this yard. 
right, well, I didn't find anything else cool at that other auction to show you after the truck. So we're at our third auction for the video. And just drove around here, there's not really anything of interest to me. It's all farm stuff, but check this baby out. International 1256. I'm guessing that's like a coolant heater. Pretty cool tractor. I liked it because of the headlights. And I always like the shape of the cabs on these things. Hmm. Oh, wow, there's another BF Avery. I go from never seeing one in my life to now there's two of them. Well, now we gotta look at that. I drove past this thing thinking it was a farm mall. Maybe these things are local to Western Wisconsin. I don't know. This one's a Model A with a hydraulic system of some sort, a hydraulic lift. That's pretty cool. So it looks like that little, there's your pump. And then it runs a rod, some weird cylinder dude, and twists this and that would give you your lift. That's pretty cool. Then back here we got a sickle bar mower with a wheel, which I've never really seen. The only sickle bar mowers I've ever been familiar with are the underbelly mount ones. I don't know if this is any better or any worse. Let me go ahead and put my finger in there and see if it racks. That'd be cool. We are in Amish area, so there's some steel wheel stuff out here. So I just find it kind of funny to see a steel wheel implement with brand new pieces on it. Hmm. All right, well, I don't think I'm going to come across any more cool auctions today. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.